All right, welcome back to Gamester, everybody. We are your hosts. Let's play some more Stick of Truth, shall we? Yay! All right, so last time we we had to go rally. Um, oh, let me see, let me loot some of this stuff. I have my Reply Girl outfit on. Oh Hi. god, yeah, yeah, you do. <laughs> just we need to just angle the camera down a little more. No, 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 no yeah, no, I'm not gonna. Anyway, uh, it's so, just for you, babe. Yeah. So anyway, oh, what was I gonna say? Yeah. So we have to rally um, Cartman's three oh, great, yeah. three greatest warriors. So we need to go to Craig's house. That's where we're going. We're just heading in a westerly direction toward his house. And while we go there, we're our, while we're on our way there, we're just gonna fight guys and add people to our Facebook friends list. And explore. Oh, Jimmy's house is here. Jimmy. We'll, 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 oh, we don't have access to it. We'll see Jimmy in a little bit. He's actually a character you can have as your sidekick. Oh, this go. this garage is open. Looks like a saw, a backpack. See, I, I want to get to that backpack so I can get whatever's in it. Huh. Looks like... Hmm. Oh, oh. Here, here we go. Anyway. Let's see, can I go oh, in Can I go in this house? Oh. oh, no, she's naked. Oh, my God. Oh, can you show that on YouTube? That's hilarious. I don't know. And we'll find out. <laughs> we'll find out. Boy, yeah, that was... Let's see, there's a girl here. Let's see what she says. All right, I got another friend, so let's take a look at my perks. And see if I can... Oh, oh click on the perks tab. Let's see, what perk do I want to get? Take. Um, you can protect your balls. Range weapon inflicts extra damage. Maximum health increases. Hmm. Your first attack. First attack deals extra damage. damage. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Wait. Do you have more perks or? No. I'm. Uh. Okay. I. I need more friends for perks. Oh, in loving memory of Betsy Donovan. Oh, that's the lady that got, uh, she got flushed down the toilet and died. Oh, that's right. From And there's a toilet there. Yeah. Yeah, so this is another, uh... Oh, gross. Oh, God. Anyway. There's also the mosquito costume. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, oh, this must be, uh, who the heck's house is this? Oh, there's a, ki there's a kid up in that. that tweet. Heat. Ooh, I got a druid hat. Interesting. I need to get the full armor. I forgot what class did you pick? Uh, mage. So there's another kid here. Uh, he he doesn't do anything. Oh, you oh. destroyed a snowman. Uh, I I can't talk to him. Anyway, let's keep going down the neighborhood. Jerk. Sure. Nothing in there. Let's see if there's anything in this house. Yep. You looking for Craig? Well, he can't play. He's in detention. Something about flipping off the principal. <sighs> oh, okay. Yeah. So we need to get the others. Let's let's fight some of these elves here. I think you can attack them first. I did. I whacked him with my uh, stick. <laughs> All right. Well, let's get rid of this archer first, then. So I told Matt a random fact earlier today about dude oh yeah yeah you go ahead and talk about it uh, so apparently dude is short for doodle which comes from yankee doodle dandy isn't that crazy so if someone calls you dude they're actually referring back to yankee doodle like ah oh, you're a yankee doodle dandy you're a doodle <laughs> you're a dude yeah basically language what normally happens is just gets lazier and lazier um, so if some, you find a word, sometimes it goes back to uh, pronunciation and think like sounds get dropped. So like in night, instead of it used to be pronounced knight or knife, mm -hmm. and then people just like nah, that's an extra oh, syllable. Geez. I need to get rid of that mage. That reminds me of was wassail, you know. Um, oh, that stuff you drink. Yeah, the stuff you drink. Well. It comes from a term that's was hail, like it means good health. Okay. Hail as an H A L E. Huh. Uh, hail means health, not not hello, not the hello hail H A I L. Right, like hail and farewell. Or um, something. like yeah. hail and hearty. 
I mean, have you ever heard that phrase? No, I never have. It means like in good health and good standing. Like, Interesting. Um, so wassail is good health because during when you go wassailing, or what we do now is caroling. Yeah. You would go to someone's house, and this was actually like a form of begging, but hmm. you would change it so that way the social standards wouldn't come off as begging. But people during a like either Christmas uh, time and would go to the rich people's houses and they would do a service like singing or let you take a drink from the wassail bowl hmm. uh, yeah, which is cider and then in exchange the people in the house would give you uh, food or money to like, oh, well, thank you so much for that service of singing. Let me give you something in exchange rather than saying, like, let me go to your house and beg for money. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like, oh, no, 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 we're doing you a good service by cheering you up and letting you have a drink from the wall sale bowl or, uh, you know, the whole, like, we won't leave till we get some, we won't leave till we yeah. get some, we won't leave till we get some, da, 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 da. Yes. Um, or, uh, so sometimes that's where, uh, trick or treating actually kind of comes, sort of comes from, not really, but sort of that, that, that whole idea. Okay. Uh, so, uh, while sailing was also, you would, so you would go around and you would sing at people's houses and then you would go to the orchard and you would wake up the cider trees, the, the apple orchard. You wake them up by singing and getting really loud and rambunctious. Oops. And then you would pour the first cider drink to the tree, like as an offering, to wake up the trees and let so that way you can begin the harvest. That's cool. It's a very old English tradition. Nice. And that's where if you have a wassail drink, it's usually a cider drink, a spiced cider drink that's yeah. warm because it's that season of the year where you go and you harvest apples from the orchard. Yeah, I remember when I was in elementary school, our teacher made some for us. It was hot apple cider with red hots in it, and that red. <laughs> and the, 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 no, that's not yeah. real. Well, but then the red hots would melt, so they were all the drink oh, got all cinnamon. Oh, that's cute, but no, it's oh man, it's so much better than that. Yeah. Anyway, it's like cloves and cinnamon and mm -hmm. alcohol. We'll have to. Oh yeah, we'll have to make you, the real stuff then. Yeah, I know. Like traditionally, throw it in a crock pot. I mean, like, quote, traditionally, as in the yeah, last 50 years. I know what um, you mean, yeah. Throw in a crock pot and make it warm, and then you, nice. you get all cozy together. And... So, uh, yeah, so I wanted to say we're in a house, and the house belongs to the, the Star Trek kid. So he's a kid from the show. He dresses up like a Vulcan from Star Trek. So this is who I'm talking to now. Let's see what he says. I prefer to explore strange worlds with you. It is illogical to abandon the bridge until the captain returns. I used to have that haircut. Oh, wow. Bye-bye. <laughs> I can't go outside when she's at home. But the Federation has an urgent mission for you. A tricorder was left behind on the frozen planet of Hoth. Only it's not a tricorder. It's my dad's iPad, too. I need you to beam down to the Omicron sector and locate that device before it falls into Klingon hands. I think it fell out of my backpack near the church. Okay. So, yeah, so if he wants to, basically if he wants to be my friend on Facebook, I have to get his iPad from, uh, from the church. Yeah, they, they can hear. That was pretty straightforward. Okay, I don't know. Anyway. Uh, I'm gonna okay. Here's another fast travel spot. Let's see what's in this house. Oh, and so another thing would be instead of giving like like there was a specific food you would hand out. Uh, are these things called soul cakes? Soul cakes, eh? So you would bake these little little cakes, and sometimes you put like a little cross on them, hmm. and you would give them to the the people who would come begging. Oh God, there's a guy masturbating oh, in that okay. house. <laughs> that was pretty raunchy. All right, let's keep going. Uh, you would give the the carolers a uh, a soul cake in exchange. They would pray for the soul of whoever you wanted while they were in purg that soul was in pur purgatory. Oh wow. Mhm. Mm if you're looking for tweak, you should go to his. So it, it it's kind of neat because it uh, the whole caroling while sailing thing tradition is way pre-Christian. Mm -hmm. But then the church came along and they were like. Well, we can't get rid of that tradition. It is way too ingrained and everybody likes it. So we'll just incorporate some Christian elements into it to make it less pagan. Mm -hmm. 
So, all right, so we're at South Park Elementary, and it looks like we can't get in through the front. Maybe we can... I know they said... Butters was saying to get the other guys first, but I'm going to see if we can't recruit uh, Craig. Let's see if we can get behind the school and get in. Oh, hey. Oh, the emos. All right, yeah, so there's the... Or the goth kids, yeah, sorry. All right, so there's four goth kids hanging out behind the school. There's um, a tall guy with curly hair, a uh, kind of portly lady with a... or a girl with a cigarette, one of those long cigarette holders. Yeah. A uh, kid with red and black hair. And, and then like this a kindergartner. Yeah, like a little kindergartner, and he's smoking, too. Let's talk to these guys. There's this cool old dude who sells clothes on the other side of town. I see you only Jeff and the K. You are logging clerks for me. <laughs> oh, please. What goth kid walks around in those clothes? We don't hang with conformists. Go get the stuff to look like we do. Ah. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, they'll only talk to us if we look like them. But let, oh, yeah, I, I can't even get inside the school. I can just go behind the school. So let's, let's try uh, Token next. So let's, let's go into town now. If you ever want some work done on your nose, see yeah, Token. anyway. Oh, there's some elves. I'm just going to go past them. I've been fighting a lot lately. Oh, let's see if we can get the kid's iPad. We're, we're near <laughs> we're near the church, so let's see if we can get it. So, traditional trick-or-treating uh, started in America. It is like an American tradition that took elements from British caroling while sailing, applied it to America, and then it, went, it got exported back. And I forget what that's called. There's actually a term for that hmm. when a tradition or a word leaves one country, goes to another, and then gets re-imported would change because it's changed since cultural appropriation <laughs> no i'm just being stupid all right so I'm no in the, it's like so i'm in the church now let's see it's what, like the pizza effect or something because it's huh because italians took like the basic element ingredients of italian food went to america made pizza and then the pizza got re-imported to italy uh so it's it's like that um so with trick-or-treating they're uh, sort of in the northeast. It's called Mischief Night, where oh yeah, Mischief you just, Night kids would just get into trouble <laughs> uh, because that's fun. Apparently, they still TP houses because our neighbor across the street got TP. Oh yeah. I thought that was lame. I don't. I didn't think the cool kids did that anymore. Um, oh. But anyway, so it was such an, an annoying costly just you know destructive oh, yeah. tradition that these kids would just go out on mischief night october 31st and just destroy and vandalize things for fun yay so, vandalism uh someone came up with the idea of like well instead of them pranking this is you know it's called pranking yeah you why don't we offer them a treat like candy as a bribe, basically, to not trash my house. So trick or treat. Yeah, yeah. so that's the whole thing. It's like, so this campaign started where it's like, tell them we'll do trick or treat. Like, if mm -hmm. you come in to my house, instead of tricking me or pranking me, I will give you candy to go away. <laughs> that's awesome. And so that's where that tradition comes from. And then they got exported back to uh, the United Kingdom. So, yeah, speaking of stuff like that, this is a good game to, like, talk through. Anyway, but, no, so I remember uh, my grandma would tell me, like, there was no trick-or-treating. We would just trick. Uh, yeah, yeah. She, she was talking about... It wasn't that long ago. It was, like, 19... Well, she was a kid in, like, the 20s and 30s. Yeah. Yeah. It was and... early 1900s. Anyway, so some of the stuff that she would do, she would talk about how they would do junk like... Uh, like take apart a, a, an entire tractor oh. and then put it together on like the roof of their barn or something <laughs> ridiculous. That's hilarious. And then they would and then they would have them uh, they would basically say something along the lines of like, you know, we'll we'll put it we'll put it back the way it was if you if you give us uh, if you give us a treat. Yeah. Essentially. All right. All right, so we got the iPad back. So let's go back to the Star Trek kids house. I think we can add him as a friend then after we do that. All of this uh, all of this helps. So The more friends I have on Facebook, the more perks I can get.
All right, let's talk to him. <laughs> Just on Facebook. Yeah, so I got a friend request from him. All right, so let's look for. Let's continue to look for. Uh, look for it. Look for Cartman's uh, warriors. What's I up? I miss Facebook back when I was in college. Like the way it was. Oh where yeah. It was very limited. The mm -hmm. way. Twitter kind of is. I don't know. Twitter's a little more uh, different, but. No, I know what you mean. But it used to be just. Just used to be my college friends. <laughs> yeah. And no, like, I got gotcha. you. You could talk and share oh, hey, opinions without starting anything. That's the priest. So if I find Jesus, I. Oh. Whoa, what happened? I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, uh, if I want if if I want the priest as my friend, I have to find Jesus. Uh -oh. oh, so there's uh some really butch looking girls. Uh, hey. And they're uh, they could dress however they want. That's true. Anyway, they look tough. The, the, they're bullying this one girl. They have it looks like a doll of Justin Bieber, and they're tossing it around. I'm gonna go help her. Whoop. <laughs> Just right. stand there and you don't say anything. So let's fight these girls. Ooh. I, okay. al I almost got one. The only thing about this game, it, it is a little easy. I will say that. You can't change uh, difficulty? difficulty settings? Uh, I think I can. So I, I guess I shouldn't complain. I don't know. I play for story anyway, so I'm fine with... Uh, with an easy difficulty. So, I'm a little obsessed with folklore right now. Folklore's awesome. Yeah. Alright, so there's one more bully girl left. I can keep talking about it. Um, after we get the Justin Bieber toy back. Oh. Well, because there's like some story going on. I don't know. Well, I, you have that one turn. We're almost done. <laughs> Let's see what happens. He just vibrates. <laughs> but he's not stiff enough to I know. be so, what you think it is. So I got a friend request. Alright, so, uh, you know what? It's almost... It's about time to end this video, so we'll do more stuff around town in the next video. So I can I will, talk about Incubuses and Succubuses later. next episode. Sure, uh, Incubi and Succubi, I oh, think it is. Oh, yeah, sorry. Anyway, we can, in between story stuff, we'll uh, do that. Octopuses so. and... Whatever. Okay.